And let's get things started in New Orleans, where the Longhorns are just days away from taking on the Washington Huskies. But it's also where you can find our own Brian Mays and our, our entire KVU sports team, Jeff, Tyler, and Corey. They're all going to be covering all the excitement leading up to the Longhorns college football playoff debut. But let's get started with Brian, who is at Louis Armstrong Park. Hey, Brian. Hey, Quita. Yeah, it's great to be with you here from the Big Easy, New Orleans. We rolled into town about an hour ago. Things very lively. And I can't tell if it's because it's Friday night in New Orleans or because we're three days away from a national semifinal college football game. Texas taking on Washington. Of course, our drive from Austin today was about 500 miles, about 2,000 miles shorter than our friends from Seattle, Washington. But the funny thing, Quita, is that I've seen more purple and gold of the Washington Huskies here in New Orleans than I have burnt orange and white of the Texas Longhorns. But I think that'll change as we head into the weekend. I do want to mention and this game started back in 1935. The Longhorns have played in the Sugar Bowl four times. They lost two and they won two, including their last trip here back four years ago when they beat the Georgia Bulldogs. We all remember that. Now, if you're thinking about making the trip here to New Orleans for the game Monday night and you were afraid of ticket prices, I can tell you some good news tonight. About two weeks ago, the prices were hovering around $600 just to get in the door. Today, when I checked, just a shade over 200 bucks will get you into the Sugar Bowl game on Monday night at the Superdome, which is good news. Now, let me tell you a little about where we are. Louis Armstrong Park here is about 30 acres. Of course, a lot of festivals happen here, a lot of fun activities going on really year round. Behind us, a couple of ghost tours have just left and a couple of more are going to be heading out here tonight to check out some of the ghost sites around here around New Orleans. Now, just down the road, about half a mile to a mile from us, on that direction is the Superdome, the site of the Sugar Bowl Monday night. That's where we find sports director Jeff Jones, Tyler Feldman, and Corey Mose. Guys, how's it looking over the stadium tonight? Hey, Brian, it's looking great. You told us we're about a half mile away. I'm, I'm waving at you. Can you see me? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm waving yeah. that hard. Yeah, but I got what you. we are going to do right hard here. Is, is break down this game for you. Oh, you got me. All right, all right. I knew I had big hands. I didn't know they were that big. Hey, man. <laughs> we, got, we got a big game to preview. Like you said, Corey Mose is here with me. And, and we have the Sugar Bowl coming up on Monday. It's going to take place right behind us in the Caesars Superdome. Corey, it's going to be our first chance mm. since it feels like forever, yeah. about four weeks ago, um, to see the Longhorns in game action. Four weeks ago, they won a record-setting Big 12 championship mm. game. Is there anything that the Horns can take from that game and apply it to this one? Yeah, it wasn't just a game. It was a beatdown, Josh. You got to say it was a <laughs> That's beatdown. True. That's true. But, yes, I think one thing they can take away is confidence to defeat the narrative. Mm -hmm. I know the narrative going into that Big 12 championship was can the Texas defense stop the running game of Oklahoma State? Of course, Ollie Gordon, the nation's leading rusher, was going into that game very confident. And Texas was able to not only just stop him, but have him not even get 50 yards mm -hmm. in that game. And so now the narrative going into this college football playoff is can the Texas secondary stop Michael Penix and his passing offense that that's number one in the nation? That's a question that's been asking all week, and I think they're ready for that challenge and they're excited for it. Yeah, well, you feel like, and many people feel like, the pressure is on the UT secondary. I think there's also a lot of pressure on the Washington Huskies secondary. When I watched that Big 12 championship game that Texas dominated, I just could not stop uh, being in awe of what Texas was doing pre snap, out leveraging defenders and just setting up their offense for success. Sark clearly, as you would say, in his bag when it ah. comes to the offensive play calling. He's now had four weeks to add wrinkles, add twists to his playbook already, but he says he's trying to ignore that sensation that makes him want to add to his playbook because what he already has is enough. But at the end, it all comes back to let's not outsmart ourselves. Uh, and let's make sure that we do the things that we do well, um, and let's make sure that we continue to do those things well uh, as we game plan and, and, and put some of the fluff around it. All right, he, Sark said he wanted to continue doing things well. What I want to continue doing is getting to know this city. Brian Mays, about a half mile away from us, said that there was a ghost tour that went behind him. Corey, we're here for four days. You, you down with a ghost tour? Come on, bro. No, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't even watch scary movies, bro. Yeah, you be a whole yeah. ghost tour. I'm gonna be freaking out the whole time. Okay. But I'm down. You know, I know the whole voodoo thing is here in New Orleans as yeah. well. So, hey, I guess I gotta 
face my fears uh, on this trip, so we'll see. Interesting. An adamant no to ghost tours, but the door to voodoo? Slightly a <laughs> All right, we'll continue our coverage here from New Orleans in the 6 o'clock show. Guys, thank you for checking in on us. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, make sure you hit up the Voodoo Museum. Corey's going to love it. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff and Corey. <laughs> and we'll continue our live coverage from New Orleans right here on KVU. Catch Brian, Jeff Tyler, and Corey live all the way through the big game.